it's only just starting. Okay, great. If the draft starts and I don't get in, then just, you know, draft pretend, that, pretend that I, yeah, all right, speak, be my eyes. <laughs> All right, so we're into game two of Radical Online Extremists versus Absolute Legends. They have swapped sides. We have Rock Kiss on the Dire. We have Absolute Legends on the Radiant. And we're going through a very fast draft currently. We start off with the Gyro Cup, the ban from Absolute Legends, followed by a Bane ban, uh, again, from Absolute Legends. And Radical Online Extremists go with the Wisp ban. We're waiting on the fourth ban right now. Uh, I'm Garamoth, of course, and I assume some kind of wizard is hanging out there. Yeah, I'm trying to connect. Right now, people <laughs> are looking at my very pretty loading screen while I desperately try to get into the game. I'm not so well, surprised that they've gone and banned out uh, Bane. I'm just amazed it wasn't picked in the first place. In fact, wait, why is it AL doing it unless they intend to first pick Lifestealer? I don't know. If they banned the Bane, they banned the Gyro, and Radical and Light Extremes, they, they're, in, they're in extra time for this ban. They really don't know what they want to ban right now. Considering it carefully, it's because both Magnus, Batrider, and Nyx are still available. Yeah, that they, seems they've to... got to they've got to pick the best. Okay, they of go with the Batrider. Years. They banned the Bat. Batrider. Yep, that's to be expected. So now it's probably going to be uh... Life Stealer first pick on the absolute from the absolute legend. Yeah, that explained their Bane ban. ban. Well, they knew Bane was a good pick, so why didn't they go with him in game one? <laughs> and Radical Online Extremes respond with the Nyx and the Cottle. Oh, that's so cruel. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I'm surprised it wasn't Nyx and Magnus. That's true. Magnus is still in the pool. Absolute Legends now have two picks to grab. What could they go with? Uh, I really hope one of them is Magnus. They've got the they've got the uh, the carry in terms of life steal, so they could go with you know they could grab anything right now. They could grab their mid because the thi okay they're going with Lone Druid. That's huh. probably that's probably the uh, off lane. Yeah, that's going to be some really really heavy farming. What I was about to say is they're and a slark. Wow. A sl yes! Slark! But that. Co what? Like, you could just be lying because I'm still looking at the loading no, screen. It's and it seems they've picked up a silo bear in there. What's this? No, Ursa? They've got. What? <laughs> okay, so Absolute Legends, Lifestealer, Lone Druid, Slark, Radical Online Extremist, Nyx Assassin, Keeper of the Light, and Omni Knight. Omni Knight? Really? This, yeah, this draft is definitely interesting. That's incredible. So that means that's probably and I still a Nick's mid. Connect. <laughs> that's still a Nick. That's probably a Nick's mid. And Absolute Legends bans Treant. What? <laughs> Radical what? Online Extremists respond with the ban on the Shadow Demon. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm in now. Now you can see that I'm not just bullshitting you. No broadcaster. I'll be fucking damned. <laughs> there you go. That is a ban on the Darkseer. That's a Darkseer ban. I really hope there's also a Magnus in this game. So I'm thinking in terms of composition, that's probably a Nyx mid then, since they've grabbed the Omni, Omni Knight. Yep. So what I was going to say is with Cottle and Nyx as the first two picks, like with just those two picks, it's unsure exactly what they they're going to Skyrath. do. They banned Skyrath. Because... Why would they ever do that? There's no fear for Skyrath. Not uh, at all, Skyrath... especially if they want to do a Nyx mid. He just destroys Skyrath Mage. Absolutely ruins him. I know. I think I think Rock Kiss agree with me in that, like saying the Scarab support actually wasn't that terrible. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, I'll give you that. But at the same time, it, they, their team is just it would ruin Skyrath. I mean, there's still more picks to come, so I can't say for certain. But I don't think that they have a threat for him. They're just picking strange bands. I've seen Triant played a couple of times, which is you know interesting to say, I suppose. Again, Trient and Slark are not exactly the kind of people you would expect to see in games these days, but they're getting picked. Trient, Trient is a common, is now a common pick against uh, Skyrath mid. And again, they ban out that Tinker, and they're just afraid of that split push, but does that mean that Absolute Legends are going to go with the Nature's Prophet themselves to ensure it? I mean, I can't really imagine, so they have Life Stealer and Lone Druid already. I don't even know what they're going to pick. Like, I'm trying to work out how they're going to run this. Uh, probably going to be Maybe Slark mid. mid. Could be LD mid. It could be LD mid. I've seen Slark mid a couple of times, but that was a, a Team Liquid kind of thing to do, so they might not yeah. go with it themselves. It, the only time I've seen Slark mid is when Blitz has been playing it, and Blitz only plays anything mid, so... That's true. It's not exactly a good judgment. It's like, well, the only time I ever saw Tree end mid was when I saw a Blitz turner. <laughs> Hell, I've seen Blitz do Spectre mid, so... Well, yeah, that's true, and for some reason succeed. And Void mid, he won that too. Yep. He does everything mid, it's too safe to say. But yeah, I know, it could be Team Liquid do like do a slot mid, and they take out it's the Rubik. Rubik, that's the last ban. Which right, so back is, it's the reasonable. second round of picks. 
Mm. So what do you think they're going to go with now? They definitely need a hard support. In fact, they could probably do it just by this point, two hard support. Yeah, two supports probably. Are most likely picking up like something like, well, SD's out. Um, maybe the Lion, potentially. I uh, think the Lion would be a great pick. Mm, who else? Or Lena, especially when you consider Lina. her. They could actually run Lion Lena. Lina. Like, they yeah, could just Lina run Lina. 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 That would be hilarious. I'm thinking as far as lanes are concerned on AL's team, it's going to be low and druid long lane, and then it's going to be slark mid lane, and then it's going to be life stealer and two supports to run a try. Okay. I'm um, interested to see what radical online extremists are going to do because I mean they they're like the opposite. They've got like they've got their mid and they've got essentially their support. Like they don't need they can just go like full carry now. It's true. I'm thinking who would be a good carry in this kind of situation though? Not sure. Maybe. Maybe just an anti-mage. Yeah, actually, anti-mage wouldn't be a terrible pick, especially against Slark, because you have to make up the fact that he can regen all of the health by making sure that he never has mana instead. Also, right now, cancel answer would be good, because there's no AoE damage on Absolute Legends. That's true. Although, no one should ever say that's good, and you should be ashamed for suggesting such a thing in case he's Man, you're just so jaded. I <laughs> am. I am so, so jaded. It's been so long. Hashtag cure for Lancer. They, take, they, they, really, really, they really care a whole lot about this next pick. <laughs> Why do I feel like they just kind of picked all this shit and then they're just like, oh. Oh yeah, what, we need a we, support. <laughs> what do we pick now? Oh, is it support next? It is support next. They're in the last 20 seconds, so help me if they get random or something. Oh, they go with the leader. Come on, lion. <laughs> I want that now. Uh, I'm just wondering what, like, I guess Roktis could go with a Magnus. Like, you said you want to see a Magnus. I mean, potentially Roktis could do a Magnus. They're doing a Lycan. Lycan? That's cool. Okay, yeah. I like yeah. that. No, that's a good choice. Especially since Lane Lycan's been coming back recently. No, it might be Woods. Mm. Could quite easily be Woods, but if you look at it from the sense of you run Nyx mid, you run um, Lycan Woods, and then you run like a two. You, you run like a. So you run Lycan Woods with like a duo top, so it's like a semi tri lane, and then you run an off lane. That's true, but then who would you be off laning? Because I'm not sure that you would do it with Keeper or Omni, but at the same time, I don't keeper, know. That no, that Keeper you... off lane. You could do yeah. Keeper oh, off lane. I suppose you can. It'd be pre it, would, it wouldn't be bad. You wouldn't be able to punish any last hitting, but you could definitely keep harassing that lane down. I mean, we've seen Demon do it. Yeah, that's true. I really like, hope that Lion is the saying, last I'm not saying I want, this, I want this support to just be even more damage, because it guarantees that AL is just going to be a huge I mean, threat. You are probably right. It probably is the lane Lycan, but I mean, it could, it could quite easily it be could the be done. Off. Yeah, you're right. Enigma. Okay, Enigma. That, okay. That's that's not too bad. Not bad at all. I imagine it's going to be a Woods Enigma moving out into a, I guess a duo, slightly cleaner duo with an Enigma moving out of the woods. Sorry, no, not not no. Lena Lifestealer with Enigma. So Juggernaut. Nice. Juggernaut. That's a very good pick in this situation. I absolutely love Juggernaut. Although that kind of messes up the lanes in the sense of the lane lichen. Um, I suppose yeah, I'm so. Just, I just. I can sort of vaguely get an idea of how, how I think that these guys are going to run this stuff, but it's mm -hmm. going to be interesting seeing what's actually happening. I mean, I'm predicting Absolute Legends is going to be Long Lane, Lone Druid, Lifesteal, and Lena with a Jungle Enigma supporting that and making it like a semi tri lane and then the mid Slark. Nah, it's going to be level 1 Roshan. You think? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was tempted, it was, I was only going to say that, I was going to say it's going to be 5 man or mid. <laughs> Unless they pull like a lot of regen, then I don't think they could do a level 1 Rosh. They could. It's it's possible. It's certainly possible. Honestly, Rock's case, I have no idea what they're gonna how they're gonna run this. It could very well be middle juggernaut support Nyx assassin. That's very possible. Middle juggernaut and then Nyx Omni Knight Lycan in a lane and then Keeper of the Light taking the solo. Well, we're gonna find out. The game is paused because we still haven't picked up someone out. Uh, one of the Rock's case guys hasn't picked up his champion yet. Hero. Yep. I'm gonna tag into free camera there. I may maybe it's gone off for a wee, but while we do that, should we go on to the actual selections for the team then? Yeah, go ahead. You wanna take the Radiant? Yeah, sure thing. So for the Radiant side, we have Absolute Legends. We have, on the Lena, we have Miracle. We have Miguel playing as the sp Slark. We have Ryze as Enigma. Uh, Mania is the Lifestealer. And Syllabair is Unicorn XOXO. And who do we have up on the Dire? Up on the Dire, heading down into the bottom lane, we have the Juggernaut is B Bizzle's Perfect. 
We have Solo playing the Omni Knight. We have Vascor playing the Cottle. We have uh, Yol, Yol sorry, playing the Nyx. And we have Dread playing the Lycan. They're five man rushing this bot. I'm probably going to look for an early invade slash putting wards down in this jungle. Or oh, level gonna... one Lycan. <laughs> no, they're going to mess with no, the... No, no, no. They're, 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 they're predicting an Enigma and they're going to mess with this jungle. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Uh, that's still a bit. They're going to find the bear. Yeah, they're going to find the panda. And the panda's going to trot away. Look at it run. I always like the panda's running animation, by the way. Look at it. Hop. 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 So, hop. okay, so the laning, what they do... Okay, so it's Lena Lifestealer on the top lane. Is that it ward is a middle close stock. enough? Uh, this one? I think so. I'm not sure. We'll find out soon yeah, enough. We'll, we'll certainly find out. I don't know I that that was close enough. Yeah, Enig Enigma's going jungle in the enemy jungle. <laughs> He's setting up into the top. Yep, he's gone with a Sage's Mask and four Clarity, so I'd be surprised if he didn't. Let's put it that way. Looks like the Panda is going to push everyone else out of the jungle. So that is... That, oh, look at that ward there up at the top. The top corner of the Radiant Jungle. That's actually a really cool That's ward. That's a fantastic... I'm going to have to use that one myself. That's a really good spot. It sees quite a lot. I mean, it doesn't cover that, you know, the ganking spot, but they have another ward that does that. If that one actually blocks as well, I'll also be... Both surprised and delighted because I want to use both of those wards if that's the case. Oh, they're going for it. They're going for an early push on this top lane. Oh, wow, look at that go. Yeah, they are determined to take it down. There is already no oh, crew at all. And they've pushed Lycan out completely. Look what Juggernaut's done. He's literally blocked the entire Radiant Jungle. He used delusions to block the other two camps. There is nothing in the entire there Radiant Jungle. There is no jungle. jungle at all. They blocked the entire that's thing. That's amazing. But it doesn't matter, because Enigma went top and they've already forced out the uh, glyph. That's a mid-omni night. <laughs> and it is a mid-omni night. We were completely wrong. <laughs> I don't even know my mind. So it's it's a juggernaut on the long... It's a long lane juggernaut. It's a mid-omni. It's woods like an, And it's a Nyx... Cot Look at it. That what top is t That top tier one is already going down. They've already forced out the glyph. A Keeper of the Light only has a level 1 Illuminate, so it's not going to be enough to take out this creep wave. That tower is she about stunned, to die, and Lena gets this. Oh, Lena gets stunned by the Nyx Assassin, and she stuns the Keeper of the Light, but it's not enough. Oh, that tower is just barely alive, and for some reason I've got a bug where I can't see tower hit points, so I don't know if it's in deny range. It's on 186, so no, it's not, it's not deniable. Cheers. Yeah, no, uh, none of my towers have hit points on them, so I'm unable to tell. I'm just sort of... I just, okay, it's coming to lane like, and I guess... It would seem so. He just he had no place being up on that top lane while everyone was pushing them so hard. And now it looks like it's going to be Solo Juggernaut versus Solo Silver Which, so, yeah. I, it's not in the Juggernaut's favour, definitely. So we can count and indeed confirm that this ward is very, very good because it's... Those are both fantastic. Look, at the, look how much they can see. Yeah. That's great. I'm going to have to use those ones. Yeah, same. That's a fantastic set. I just thought that was fun. Enigma's now backed off and he's going into his jungle. Not that there's, there's much jungle. Not, not that there's much jungle to pick, sadly. There is two camps because obviously they blocked these two with the Juggernaut illusions which don't exist anymore. Yeah. Such a great block. It's so good. It had to take a lot of practice getting that ward. They must have just figured out that, that ward's position perfectly for it. Which one? The one that's just in the bottom of the Radiant Jungle. Yeah, it seems like it. Let's see here how they're actually going to be doing that. Let's bring up the last hits tab. Lycan is sitting at 12, he's not having a hard time at all, in fact. He hasn't scored any denies though, so life theory is an easy 11 himself. Omni Knight is, uh, he's beating that Slark, as far as last hits are concerned, by quite a bit. It's actually quite... Oh, oh jeez, that was fast. That, that was so fast. I didn't... That was so fast. That was literally, that was literally stunned, right click, and Dragon Slave. Oh, it wow. was so fast. I, I feel bad I missed First Blood, I pulled a Toby 1. So did Toby One because I was using Toby One's camera angles. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, that's so. Slot just picked up Omni Knight in the mid. Well, there goes my theory about Omni Knight actually doing successfully in that lane gone, and also my excitement about successful Slot continuing. I don't know why, but I have no health bars. I can't see anyone's health numbers at all. I've just got a blank bar. I think it was a bug for not being able to connect to the game for so long. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, I could, I've got their hover, their hovering bars, so I can see it in that way, but I can't... Slug's just going straight in with the harass against so much uh, damage. 
She, he's, he's also gone. Have you noticed? He didn't put anything into his queue at all. He's put it all into leap and shift. So he's just. I know. I, 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 I told you that. Like yeah. when you were playing Slark through the day, like you don't actually, you don't actually use the, um, the dark pack for damage anymore. Like it's much more efficient just to use it as a debuff remover. Like you just literally rely on your pounce and your yeah. right click. Oh, and speaking of which, did you see the damage you just dealt? Yeah, it's nuts. It's huge. It's really impressive. And he's going to get that illusion rune there and fill up his bottle. Oh, on the top lane, that's a dead Nyx. That is a dead Nyx. One more right click. One more right click, and that's it. He gets the stun off, but it's not fast enough. And in fact, now that Keeper of Light's being control. chased There's down. There's a stun. Stun lands The stun it. lands just in time. Is Nyx going to be able to catch up? He, he doesn't have the mana uh -huh. to get an open wounds. And I don't know when he'll have enough mana, because I can't see the numbers. <laughs> like, I have just a black bar where there should be health and mana. Uh, that's really sucky. Yep. You have to be oh, my number. mid lane, mid lane, mid lane. Oh, we see that Slark gets the snatch out there on the Omni Knight, and he's completely out of mana. All it would take is a stun from Enigma, but not enough. He's already used it up, and Slark stun. is too weak to get in there. That was a really nice turn, actually. Like, that would have been if Omni hadn't got the heal. Like, Omni dropped the heal, which basically just reversed their health. Like, Omni was about to die, suddenly he was basically back to full health, and Slark got nuked really hard. Yep, and on the bottom, we see that Silver is still poking back and forth with the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut has only 15 oh, last hits down. compared to the Silver's 21, and the top tower falls, and Life Stealer gets the last hit of it as well, so he'll be very happy with that. And also the Dire Camp is pulled, but all of that experience is going to go to Mania right now. Keeper of the Light is unable to take any of those last hits away. I was saying, it's like, I, I love Rook Chris's um, uh, draft, but it's just, it's really weird. It's it's definitely strange. I mean, also ALs is when you consider the, their mid their mid slark decision. Like, I didn't expect it to go up against Omni Knight, though, that's certainly for sure. It was it's, In my mind, it was more likely that Lycan would go mid than an Omni Knight, particularly against Slark. In fact, I think that would have been really interesting, seeing how the wolves coped with countering his poke. Because you don't put any points in the pact. I know. I feel the, the wolves would just be free gold. Because they're so weak. That's true. I can see the life bars again. Hooray! Hooray! Life and mana! I can actually see numbers, so I can tell oh, them they're going to things on that. Speaking of which, an open wounds, and that's the stun from Lena. She's being chased down by Lycan's wolves, but he's running away from that life stealer. Is it going to be enough time? He just about gets killed by Life Stealer's ulti, which is just in time, in fact, when you consider that Nyx Assassin was just throwing down his stun. And it looks like Solo is coming in to try and deal some damage to that Life Stealer. He's got his heal up, but there's nothing he can do. He's not fast enough. Lena's still being harassed by wolves, but she just about gets away and also snatches the wolf last hit for her troubles. This is just going entirely AL's way this time around. It is. The last hit to even speak that way. I mean, you've got sitting in the top three slots, you have Life Stealer, uh, Lone Druid, and Enigma. Yep, Enigma's a straight turn, I know. Well, you have to admit, though, that the, a lot of those numbers are in uh, group kills, but they also have the tower advantage already. So let's, if, if we bring up the gold graph, in fact, it's already straight four grand in AL's favor. We didn't see that kind of difference until about oh, minute 13 mid lane. in the previous game. On the mid lane, um, it looks like, oh no, nothing happens there because Omni Knight has repel, which is super good. But it looks like gonna he's going to struggle soon. to hold down that tower, yeah. Oh, cuddle in from the side. Oh, that nice hits everyone just perfectly, but Slark, being Slark, is going to regen all of the things. He also has a bottle as well. God, so many root gaming on bot lane right now. Is it just all the roots? All root gaming. Oh, Slark's going in. Slark's going balls deep. And then the repel lands just in time in the ulti, and there's also a head juggernaut spinning down on the bottom. He does a bit of spinning, and I don't know why I could hear it from the middle lane, but you know, whatever. I heard it too. You also have your volume up really loud. I heard it clearer than just about any other sound that I've heard in this game today. Also, have you noticed Slark's awesome hair? Hmm? What? Slark, he has the best headset. It's just the bitch and head fin. I've got that, I think. Yep. Enigma Black Hole in the mid lane, that is Omni Knight. Completely trapped and being right clicked by everything, but that heal just gives him all of the money. Enigma's going to be just annoyed Slark by that. Just in the take back, down yeah. the uh, Nyx. They're going back and forth, but is this going to be an escape? Lena is probably going to go down for our troubles, but... Oh, and Slark sneaks in from behind and he snatches it up another kill. <gasps> Lena's alive! Lena is still alive and she gets off the slave as well. Life Stealer does some healing and Lycan is not going to make it out. He gets healed and then repelled, but it's not enough. But because he's used both of these, it looks like Omni Knight is going to go down as well. That was just a complete cleanup by AL. That was 8-0. Just an amazing escape by Lena and Slark made a great decision going back in behind them. This Slark is just doing so well. Meanwhile, on bot lane, <laughs> it's just some farming. Back farming and, and root gaming. Yep. Juggernaut's definitely having a harder time up against this bear. The 
It seems kind of pointless to me seeing a Mid slot get a regen rune. Oh, it looks like he wants to go onto this Nyx. He's going to wait out patiently. He expected the stun, it seems. He threw down the Dark Pact, but, you know, his timing quite, quite, wasn't quite there and the leap didn't reach. Which is for, his, for the best, really, because he managed to get out of Illuminate range. But what kind of levels are we looking at in that Keeper of the Light? He's only at three. I don't know what everyone's levels are. Let's have a look here. Yeah, Keeper of the Light is the lowest by far. He's got level three. We have Nyx with five. Lena with five. Lycan with six. Seven on... No, eight on Omni. Eight on Juggernaut. Highest up, everyone else is eight except for Blood uh, for Life Stealer, who is a nine. Oh, I just feel so bad for them. Keeper of the Light, he's doing the usual warding lock. Prepared for Slark. A little rhyme didn't intend to in the first place. Had to make it happen eventually. And Omni Knight, he's dealing so much damage with that heal. Did you see Slark's health? Yeah, I know. It's like the nuke on Omni Knight's kind of crazy. Let's see here. It's as far as damage is concerned, it's 360. Root gaming! This might actually be trouble for Juggernaut. He's yep, might take us one more route. One more route is all it's going to take. He uses the face bits to try and get away. He's taking a right click from Lo Druid. And another he uses the bottle. And he uses his Omni Slash, but it doesn't go onto oh! the bear entirely. And oh! the stun from Nyx! He survives and spins! That was perfect play. That was bottle into. He altered perfectly, got the bear, and then Nyx, it gave Nyx enough time to come from behind and help them pick up the actual Lone Druid. That was really fucking good play. That's the that first, was such a tight first, timing. That's that means that um, well, Rock's well case actually got a score on the board now. Yep. It was a well-deserved kill as well. That was fantastically held on to. And it looks like Juggernaut's going to be doing some crowing. He sends the pig up with his bottle. Slug forces Lycan to blow his ult. Just getting oh. to the oh. oh no, look at the damage! Two right clicks, three, and that was three casts and a right click. It's gone. He's Lean true. did not stand up to that He's going back assassin. in. He's going back in. Slark has nothing to fear right now. Oh, it's amazing how much damage he's doing. He got the early advantage, it's just holding him ahead so well. It looks like he's going for the early drums, which, again, I've, I've said this before, and I just love seeing it on those sort of... Oh, Slug is on a mega carries. kill. He is on a mega kill. It's kind of double minutes. just then. Another right click, one more. Oh, it looks like Lifestealer picks up that one. It would have been another kill there for Slark. Lifestealer, by the way, is at 73 kills. He has finished an omelette. It's waiting for him back at base. <laughs> Juggernaut almost goes down again on bot lane. At least he wasn't 20 root gaming. He fills up his bottle. He's not going to crow it this time. It seems he's going to head down towards the middle and try and stop that Slark. Or is he? Nope, he's going to stay down the bottom. I think that's going to be another tier 1 tower going down against this Lena and this Enigma. He's just got a lot of right click right now. And Juggernaut's not in a position to stop them properly. He hasn't got his only slash up for another 30 seconds. That was really cool. I mean, it TP'd in to help defend the top, but he TP'd with a repel on him. Ah, that's an interesting choice. Oh, so, like, and that's another tower down. They tried to get the deny, but failed to do so. So it's another tower in favor of AL. And life's today has Slark's got his going back in. Slark is just always going back in. He doesn't care. Oh, it's just amazing. Let's have a look here at the gold graph quickly. It is it is a sad, sad story, I'm just going to say. That is 8,000 in the favor oh, of AL. Oh, possible fight down bottom. He's got an ult. Down bottom. Six Juggernaut's making his spin, and he's going on the top of that enigma. He's still got black hole, and he's still got a mech. He does not have the mana, though. He loses it all. That was very nicely cleaned up, taking that Lena down and that um, Enigma. If it oh, weren't no. for the fact that Nick got off that um, mana burn just in time, then Enigma would have had time to do both a mech and throw down the black hole, so it was good for him. And it's a deny as well for Nick's Assassin. Right now, uh, there are every tower is up right now for AL. They have every tier 1, and all the tier 1s have fallen for Rock's Kiss, and they're down a tier 2 as well. I don't know what it's going to take to turn this around, but it looks like right now AL are in a dominating position. Juggernaut's made some great plays, and they've actually managed to bring the scoreboard from, what, 11-1 to 11-5, so it's been quite a phenomenal series of plays. Well, it was 8-0 at one point. It was 8-0, yeah. Oh, Nick's bomb on the Slark, an invisible Slark as well. That's oh. terrifying. Well, there's a sentry put down just Literally in time. Literally put down just as he down. was running forward. And they put down their own sentry and counter it straight away. Oh, uh, that's just sad. That was, like, literally a sentry. Oh, he can get the jump right now and land on Lycan. I don't know. He, I don't think he wants to do it with he Juggernaut. Still has half, he, doesn't, he doesn't need to rush. He still has half the invis left. Oh, oh God. Melted. It just absolutely melts him. And Lifesteal has just sat there completely immune. And there's some root gaming in the black hole by Enigma. Just completely holds down the Omni Knight. He's unable to escape. Nyx Assassin is trying to stop that Scylla Bear with the bear attack. Well, it takes us a root or a bash. And that's all it's... it's just, I'm not even getting time to actually see what's happening. Their health bar's just disintegrating. Melting so fast. It's luck still going. On the Juggernaut, he gets the root. He gets the fantastic latch. It's not a right click. That healing water is going to keep him up just a little bit longer and he gets away. 
Illuminate passes down the hill, but there's nothing in range for it, and everyone's just going to back out now, take some safe farm. It looks like they can take the last tier two, and then they'll be able to pin Rock's Kiss down into their base. This is just a complete turnaround from the last game. I mean, 13 minutes, almost 14 minutes, it's 14 to 6, and a like AL have taken all but one of Rock Kiss's uh, outer towers. It's just nuts. What's the button for net worth? Oh, if you look at the net worth tab. Mm hmm. 7,500 on the life stealer, 6,500 on the uh, slark, 5,300 on the lone druid, then Enigma sitting at 4,800, and then you get the rock kiss team. And finally, Lena right at the bottom at 2,000, but you know. She's basically... playing a tough hard support. I think she's most of their team's deaths. Yeah, she is at uh, uh, 2 and 3 and 4. She has half of their team's deaths. But it doesn't matter, your team's winning. Quite yeah. Constantly. It never matters. That, that's, that's just the curse of being hard support. I mean, she's finished an urn, which is good enough for her. Slark has basically finished the defusal. Hmm. Your voice went a bit crackly then. It's like, I think Skype might be goofing out. Do you want me to redial you? That's fine. Do I still sound robot? Oh, no, it's back now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Slark's almost finished the defusal. He's got he's got double blades of alacrity and a robe of intelligence. He just needs the um, he just needs the recipe. I can't remember how much it costs. Uh, he's about it's about seven seven fifty, I think. Oh, and we're gonna find out. It's 850, you were so close. I was going to say 900, so we would have been just about as close. So yeah, he's about he's about 300, 400 gold. Next bomb on a hasted slark. <laughs> oh, it's that poor Lycan. If he doesn't get out of there right now, he's probably going to get caught. They check the Roshan and nothing is there. And he doesn't... Oh, he doesn't go up into those ancients. Lycan is going to be able to farm them safely. Or is he the beggars and the scout and he's just going to get the heck out of dodge? I think they're just using... They're just using... I think he ran up, realized that his passive had gone up. His old passive had worn off, so there must be a ward. They're doing... They're using him to scout wards. But no, he's still going. And that is the great thing about the, the passive on the ultimate. As soon as you lose your passive regen, you know there's a ward around. Yeah, and it's something that... I'm just, it's one of those other reasons that I'm really glad to see Slark in the, like, as a popular pick now. Not only because it's been ages since Slark was put in and I'm glad to see him as a pick, but also because he does actually bring a lot to the game. People keep thinking of him as that carry who doesn't quite get to full carry status even when he's fully built. Which, you know, when you consider it is true, but his specialties are not dying and his passive is incredible. Not just for that whole, you know, not dying thing, but because it's all the scouting information you need, it gives every ward position away for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is, could be a Roche. Yeah, they're going in for the Roche. Also, they have an armlet on the bear, which... It's fantastic. I don't know why they don't it's, lose health. It's been banned in um, the uh, Perfect World Chinese Dota tournament. You're not allowed to do it. Really? Yeah, it's been banned. How come? I'm pretty <laughs> sure... It, it, it's just a really strong item, that's all. Because it didn't work that way in Dota 1. It only works like this in Dota 2. I see. That's a pretty reasonable excuse, then. I don't know. I thought if that was the case, though, that it was actually such a bad thing that they would have taken it out themselves. I know it's only sort of started coming to fruition that people have put the armor on the bear in Dota 2. Also, I don't understand. Like, I, st I, I kind of think there's something wrong there because the fact it doesn't lose health. Yeah, I was reading the description and thinking, where does it apply there? What do you mean? Well, the description on the armor is, but drains 40 HP per second. Like, there isn't a reason why it shouldn't be, as just as far as the description is concerned. So, I don't know. It's def it, pro it probably isn't as intended, and they'll get rid of it eventually. But it's been in place now for a couple of months and hasn't been removed. That's because people haven't really been using it that much. I don't know. I don't think I ever see it now not being done. It's definitely a bulldog favorite. No. Either way, like, it's not oh, Lester has been ganked up on the top. He's just going to rage and TP out. Oh, it ran out! It ran out! Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. I was looking around the top, realizing that you actually went the bottom. Whatever. <laughs> oh, and that's a cleanup. In fact, there's a dominating third juggernaut, and it looks like Slark is going to be unable to take this next kill. Unless, you know, one more right click. That's actually all it took. I thought he had the ulti on him from um, Omni Knight, but of course Slark finished his defusal blade and just took the ability off of him. Just good. A lot of people always said that the only reason you would pick an Omni Knight is if you want to force their carries to pick a Diffusal Blade. Interesting choice. I uh, don't fully agree with that. Oh no, he definitely has applications, but that was in Puppy's own words. You know, I mean, he does pick quite a bit of Juggernaut, but he apparently, sorry, quite a bit of Omni Knight. And he, apparently his reasoning is that if you pick an Omni Knight, then you know for sure that one of their carries is going to go with a Diffusal Blade. And that's their okay. late game slot gone. I mean, it's oh. going on to Slark, who doesn't have that same late game carry anyway, though. 
I guess, but um, maybe he just wanted Defusal anyway. True, it's definitely a good item on him. Oh, that heal still hurts so much. I think he, he would do with just having a casual cloak or something. Nope, man mode. It doesn't matter. It's, it's kind of settled down a bit now. It really has. It's because they've got Rock's Kiss pinned down in their base, but they've got no way to re-break it right now. They need to take no, they down... Don't. They need that Roche again. No, they've still got Aegis. Do they Slark actually still have it? I thought the Slark had lost it earlier on. No, Slark is holding onto it right now. No, he's still got the Aegis. They should they, they should just do something ballsy then and make a break. Like out. this? Like Juggernaut too far out, caught in a black hole? He is so screwed. Yep, that is everything bad that could possibly have happened to him. But that wasn't exactly AL's decision. They didn't go, alright, and now we need to make a play. So, quickly, AL, force Juggernaut to leave the base and kill him. Slark's going in with a snake Slark ball. is going in deep. Reverse, he's still in vision, and that's the Aegis already popped. His ulti's already been used as well. I think that was a bit preemptive. And Lifestealer takes that kill on Nyx Assassin after a bit of root gaming there. Root gaming. It's my favorite term for a continuously always rooting panda. And it looks like the panda's about to go down. Just one more right click. Oh, it gets resummoned straight away. No, I don't think Rock's Kiss can make a move on this. Like, that Illuminate is not doing any damage. Yeah. That Keeper of the Light, that that keeper of the light oh, has just hit that level. was a really nice, like, I can't remember the name of the ability, blinding. but the, 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 the Blinding Blast. Yeah, blinding the, Light, yeah. It just it just stopped uh, Slark from getting in, because he just wanted to go for it there, you could tell. Yeah, have you noticed, by the way, that Keeper of the Light's level? No, I haven't. He's a level 6. That Illuminate is level 2. It is not damaging these waves at all. No, he's just so behind. Well, if you think about it, everyone on the AAL team is 10 or higher. Three of their three carries are level 13. That's more than double their keep that Keeper of the Light's levels. Yep, and the, the gold lead, like, if you look at the net worth, if, like, the, the smallest net worth gap in between, like, the majority of the uh, teams, it's it's like a 1,000 gold, and that that's between Juggernaut, the highest on um, Rock Kiss, and Enigma, who is the lowest of the main bulk of, um... Besides, you know, hard support, Lena. Yeah. Who is still, like, above every support on Rock's Kiss, so, you know. And you say every support, it's every support, and they're mid. And they're mid. Well, no, they're mid as a support at this point. That is very true. But I mean, if you look at the terms difference of the difference between the Lycan, Lycan and Juggernaut, like, the difference is between them and the carries is just so huge. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible. That Slark is 8-0, by the way. He's been playing fantastically. Have you looked at the gold graph itself? Yeah, it, it's pretty miserable. It's, it's about 20k. <laughs> yeah. And experience-wise, about 14. I think that's 14. Yeah, about 14k. God, that Slark is just never going to die all game. It could do. It's very possible. It's 17 and 7, so at, when you think about how the early game went, Rock's Kiss are actually not doing as terribly as could be anticipated, despite how incredibly behind they are. It's, I don't know what they can do. They don't have that same big team fight that uh, AL had when they were holding out in that last game before. If you think about it, what big team fight ults do they have? They have Omni Knight and... Spike Carapace. Spike Carapace, yeah, I suppose. Oh, lane again, Juggernaut is caught by open wounds, but oh. this time the stun doesn't land. It misses, and there's a zap from Lena, and it does not take the kill. And he's going to actually manage to get out with his life this time. And Lifesteal has finished a Deso, by the way, so he's, he's gone for that Deso early to decide big, to try and take down the turret a little bit faster. The big problem is Lycan is just... Like, Juggernaut and Lycan are just so behind. Oh, here we it's go. Speaking of which, Slot jumps down on top of that Lycan, he gets the latch there, and it holds down Lycan as he runs around on the leash like a poor lost puppy. And his own dog's blocking for a second there, and he's being chased down hard by that. Oh, oh Slark. no, Slark overleaps, and Lycan is going to get out. Uh, I think, like, a big issue they've got right now is that, like, they can't push. Like, if you look at their actual lineup, they've got a very heavy push lineup. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, in pure terms of heroes, you've got Juggernaut, you've got Lycan, you've got Omni Knight, who can just nuke creep waves, you've got Cottle, obviously with the Illuminate. Like, these guys want to push, and they just can't. They haven't taken a single tier one. Yeah, they just can't. They, the AL have just got too tight a chokehold on this map right now. They have so much map control. And they have such a huge carry lead as well, there's nothing wrong with them playing a, like Chinese Dota and just sitting back in all of the trees. I mean, as soon as uh, as soon as like uh, Rock has get a bit overconfident and come out, you've seen it every time and time again. Juggernaut's come out a few different times, and he's just been caught every time. Yeah, it's because he has no options at all for getting any farm without leaving that line of the base. I mean, like at the very least, has a little bit of Wolf Micro to try and take some last hits. The others all have their abilities that they can cast, but poor Juggernaut. 
That Illuminate's just not doing any damage. That Keeper of the Light has just hit level 7. They're gonna force in the mid. They've used the mech. They've buffed everything up. Here we go. Look how fast that that tower is going down. That's the Deso pick from Life Stealer at work there. Juggernaut's doing a couple of right clicks, but he can't make anything happen. They get the stun on the Spirit Bear straight away, and they're gonna keep right clicking it, and they are unable to take down the Spirit Bear. Bear's so tanky. It is just. It is a monstrous bear. It's got a bash here now as well. It's amazing. And then Bear's gonna go back and recover. Looks like Slack is gonna push out that bottom lane as well. This is what they need to be doing, really. Just farming and split pushing. Farming and split pushing. Rock's Kiss have actually left their base now for the first time in about what? It's because they've seen that they've minutes. seen that Slark is on the bot lane. Yeah, they've seen that there's that split. They've left for the first time in five minutes, but right now they're in a position where both they could just get pincered. Juggernaut will be surrounded and probably killed quite quickly. I don't know. I, I, this is Juggernaut's out balls deep. Uh, he, is, he is out far. T he's really far out. He needs to run right now, which thankfully he's already started done doing so. Slug is in invisible this. and chasing from behind. All he needs is one latch right now. I could probably take that kill. Or does he want to go for that Nyx? Nope, he's just going to scout everything out. And he does go for the latch. Right clicks. Right clicks again. Throws down the dark pad. Gets stunned. Takes a whole ton of damage. Gets his mana burst and actually goes down. That's his first death. He buys nice right back, back in me. again. They knew he was there as well because there was that ward. Yeah, that sentry ward was right there and waiting, but Lifesteal was carrying a gem, so there's no ward now that it's safe on this map. There is zero vision outside of that tier 3 base now for Rock's Kiss. Juggernaut is out pretty fast still. But it's amazing oh. that pretty far is past their very first ramp. He's TP back in during the fight. In comes the spin. They're going on that bear, which again, they just can't kill. I don't really know why Slark bought in. They, they can't. They still can't do anything at all. They yeah, need to but back it, it, immediate pushing. buyback keeps the pressure on. That's true. And also, he's freaking rich. Slark bought uh, Nick's bomb. Yeah, it looks like Slark, by the way, is going for a BKB. He bought it. He bought out Nick's bomb. Oh, oh, oh let's pause. Roche is almost up, by the way. Flags apparently for Rock's kiss. Yep, Yol says it's fine to go. Uh, Beta Roche is literally about to spawn. Oh, yeah. But I like it when the clock does a little pulsing thing. It's a bit hypnotic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. If AL get a bit hasty, then they could lose some people, but this da their damage the damage of Rock's Kiss isn't really enough to punish it. Not right now, anyway. AL can get away with being really, really cheesy with their attack. They can get, they can get away with playing a huge, huge risk because there's no way to punish them for doing so. Look at that, right clicks. Just, they're just going to go rush. straight onto that rack, and there's nothing that they can do about it. Juggernaut is spinning in the depths of all of them, and again, still nothing can be done. And that black hole reaches out, and that bar the, the uh, spike attack, the impale from Nyx, didn't reach the black hole, and that was a big misstep. Oh, and Root Gaming! Two right clicks! And that's GG, GG. already called out by Rock's Kiss. They're going on to a game three, it seems. That was a fast and bloody game. That was just brutality. A complete turnaround from the last game as well. I wouldn't even say a complete turnaround, because it's not even like Rock's Kiss were the, the trying their hardest defenders. They were just trapped in their base until AL finally had enough to crack them. Oh, it's just literally just suffocation tactics. Yep. Or as I like to think, Chinese Dota. <laughs> oh, that was just amazing plays, though. Indeed. I'm really impressed with how AL turned that one around. So, moving on to Game 3 predictions. Oh no, predictions are too hard. Both of these teams have proved that they can do far and again phenomenal things. If it, I think it might just come down to the picks again. I, AL's big slip last time, I still believe that it was Skyrath, but... I disagree. Yeah, I know. I know that you do, which is why it's, this is interesting to me. Yeah, and that's the end of the game. I don't know who's going to win. It's it, it could easily be either of them, and that's just exciting to see. So see you in the